This here is the medical equipment that I use pretty much on a daily basis. I take blood pressure throughout the day, throughout the night, even while I'm in bed. I'm literally about to die or going to die in the near future because there is something physically wrong with me. I'm obsessed with my health 24 hours a day, seven days a week. These are the general pulse oximeters. Uh, generally measures the oxygen level in your blood and your heart rate at the time. Right now mine's a little high and that's got me concerned. I need to monitor my health because I'm nervous and I want proof that something may be actually going on. It's a little bit ridiculous, I know to have three, but it's to the point that I'm afraid to be without one. My families and doctors don't think I'm that sick. It literally feels like I'm in a, like a parallel universe. I cannot function. It's gotten to the point where I'm really not sleeping much at night because I feel if I fall asleep, I'm not gonna wake up. And I feel if I stay awake, I won't die. I've had an MRI done on my head and my neck and a pulmonary function test. The test didn't show anything majorly wrong, but I think that doctors are not testing the right things. And they're ignoring my symptoms. Before I even get a chance to utter a word, it's already presumed that I have some mental disorder. If it was another person, they would take it more seriously. I know how I feel. And when I'm feeling that something's wrong, I want it addressed. In spite of what people may think, I can drop dead any minute. Death is right around the corner. Well, Kathy, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me how I can help you. Well, basically my goal for being here is to prove that I'm not, for lack of a better word, nuts. That um, I do have issues. Um, it's not all in my mind. I know when I feel sick. Right now, I don't feel sick, but when I am, I look sick, feel terrible. Just basically some validation that everything I'm going through isn't just anxiety or panic, because I've never had those conditions my whole life. Well, that surprises me to hear you say what you just said. You said, I'm here to prove I'm sick. That's what you said. Let's consider that. And then you said, and it's not just anxiety. Now, as a mental health professional, I take offense to that. Why is that a second class disorder? Actually, you say I, I just anxiety, like that doesn't count. No, I mean, I think what I meant is I'm willing to say I, I do have some anxiety and I think a lot of it's developed due to the fact that I'm not getting what I feel is the proper um, care or attention. And it's not like that I wanna prove I so per se have a, a chronic, another, I do have a chronic illness, but not another chronic illness or another, just that these episodes that I'm having could be related to the mm. COPD. You've had 67 tests within just the last few days. And when a doctor opens your file and says, oh my God, this woman has had test after test after test after test after test, and it is negative, 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 normal, 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 just time after time after time, then I am going to be dismissive of her because it's like the little boy that cried wolf. But like, in all fairness, these tests here, they do to everybody, no matter who walks into the emergency room, they're testing your blood, which is fine. But that's not the problem that a lot of times I'm going in there for.